So this is a new guy, Nokia 5.1 Plus. Actually, this is an old phone, but this is the first time I tried this phone. And we are going to see how durable this phone is. Previously, we have tried two Nokia phones, the Nokia 1 and the Nokia 8.1. Both were super great, super durable. Now, this phone is old, but a lot of you guys have requested to give a try on this phone. So why not give a try? So let's go start and see how durable this Nokia 5.1 Plus is. So let's start with a scratch test first. So I'm not sure about the back, whether it is Gorilla or NEG glass, but whatever it seems to be, seems to be very durable uh, because we try to scratch the Nokia branding and I'm not able to make it a scratch. It's, it's inside the glass. That should be good thing. And FCC labels, they're also inside the glass, which is again nice, but we don't like to see it either way. So use some cases, good thing. But overall, glass seems to be of the good quality with a basic sharp knife even. I'm not able to make any dent so far with that on the screen. The camera lens should be protected with the Gorilla Glass 3, which is there on the front side. So it's not going to get any scratches. LED flash has a separate cutout. It should get some bit of scratches. Coming to the edges and overall border, uh, the whole phone is made from the polycarbonate around the edges. Everywhere you will scratch, you'll get the same thing. You can easily chip off the paint. But good thing is that uh, it's completely same as, uh, you know, outer color. So you won't notice at all in case you get any kind of a dent when you drop your phone. The buttons are also made from the plastic. I was hoping it to be made from the metal, but that's fine. Volume button, power button, they all are made from the plastic. SIM card tray is again made from the blast polycarbonate. You can easily cut it and scratch it, but that should be okay considering it is a budget device. Moving on to the front side. This is Gorilla Glass 3. We have tested many phones in the past having the Gorilla Glass 3. All phones seems to be pretty much, you know, not completely scratch through, but yeah, they get some hairline scratches so far. Initial lot of testing, uh, you know, they won't show any sign, but later on with after some usage of time with sands and dust particles, definitely you may see some kind of scratches on the screen. So on the screen, I'm not able to see any scratches so far visibly here. That should be okay, but it is always recommended to have some sort of protection because, you know, accidents happen so it's always advisable to use something nokia logo again front side is inside the glass you won't be able to scratch it scratch it easily front camera on the notch area is inside the glass again it is protected no, no such problem at all let's check out the earpiece it is made from the cloth i was hoping it for the metal because like we have seen on the realme 2 2 pro they are from the metal so nokia should provide at least metal earpiece here let's try the fingerprint sensor now as of now it is working perfectly fine I'm going to add a new fingerprint sensor to see if the phone recognizes my finger or not. Fingerprint sensor works fine without having any issues. I did notice one uh, good thing here around the camera lens border you can see there is a complete metal chases which is great I was hoping it to be polycarbonate but it is good actually it is going to make your camera more safe in case you drop it that we will test later So upon cleaning the phone, I can see some bit of scratches there, even though that is not like the Realme 2 Pro, it got huge dots there, but it is actually good. There are some uh, major dents I can see here. So like I said, use tempered glasses and screen protector. It is good for your phone. Now it's time to do the waterproof test, even though there is a no uh, official IP rating to not try that thing in your home. We just perform a casual splash test in case you accidentally drop your phone, you know, maybe wherever it is water there. So your phone should work or not. So till now, most phones pass except Samsung Galaxy J6 or the On6. And if it is waterproof phone, we are going to perform the freeze test. But since this is not waterproof, let's just perform a splash test for the one minute. So perfect time to start timing on the broken Nokia 1. Here we go. 3, 2, 1.
one minute is going to complete and we are going to take our phone out so we have properly cleaned the phone let's verify whether everything is working fine or not whether the phone is a splash proof or not first with the fingerprint sensor it should be working perfectly it is unlocking fine display is working great there is no such as issues like you know water is coming in and out everything is properly working fine rear camera first verify with the rear camera camera is working fine let's take a selfie front camera is also working fine Let's verify the speakers. So this is the brand new OnePlus 6T and it's time to do the durability test on this phone. So as usual, we are going to perform a lot of steps like the wind test drop test. Speakers are also working fine. And in case you have missed to notice, the LR reception is also coming great. So there is no water inside the SIM tray also. And it is also good to check whether headphone jack is properly working or not. Headphone jack is also working properly fine. So everything seems to be working. Time for the bend test. Let's see. Previously, we tested the Nokia 8.1, which was made from the stainless steel and the glass combination, which was super durable phone also. This phone uses polycarbonate. So we may expect, you know, some bit of flex, but that should be okay. You can easily fix that by bending in opposite direction. Let's see. Three, two, one. <sighs> Like I mentioned, there are some flex, but that can be easily fixed by bending from the opposite direction. So, so far, Nokia 5 and OnePlus seems to be very durable phone in terms of bend also, which is a good thing. Now we have our last test, the drop test, where we drop our phone from various different heights. So I generally drop it uh, eight times, including the waist height up to the six feet height. So last two phones, the Nokia one, you know, the screen got cracked from the six feet height and the Nokia 8.1 which also got cracked but from the 10 bit height up to 6 bit height this phone was great and this phone wasn't using any Gorilla Glass it was some NEG Glass which is Japanese company I'm not sure much about that but that wasn't using the Gorilla Glass so let's see how durable the Nokia 5.1 Plus is and yes again the last phone uh, on 2018 we broke here was the Redmi Note 6 Pro you know it just broke you know, 6 bit height with the official case on it let's see how durable the Nokia 5.1 Plus is Waist height, bottom side, three, two, one. Perfect. Top side, waist height. Back side, waist height. Right. Screen side, waist height. No problem. Okay. Six feet height, head height. Bottom side, three, two, one. Okay. Top side, six feet height. Perfect. Okay. Back side, back glass, six feet height. Okay. 
fine. Okay. Screen side, six feet height. So till now phone is working so that doesn't mean you know uh, this phone should be completely solid these kinds of tests varies based on the surface to surface but you know it just gives a uh, good amount of idea how good how bad this phone is so on conclusion Nokia 5.1 plus seems to be a durable phone even though having the glass design and uh, Paul Cardinal shell this phone seems to be premium and a super solid phone but it is always recommended to use some sort of skin protection and a case too because you know like i said different surfaces may give you differences anyway guys overall nokia 5.1 plus is a good solid budget device hope you guys did enjoy this test thanks for watching have a great day